In this next example, which is number 24 on page 938, we're asked to describe the domain of the function in words. In part a, we're given f of x, y equals 4 minus x squared over y squared plus 3. Now, again, when we're finding domains of multivariable functions, we're thinking the very much the same way we did with um, domains of single variable functions. We're thinking, what values of x and y can I plug in that would make sense? Now, in this function, we have two potential issues. One, the square root. Two, the denominator. So we know that the denominator is not allowed to be zero. So we want to think what values of y squared plus 3 might potentially equal 0. What real number values of y would cause that expression to equal 0? And in this case, that would mean that y squared would have to equal negative 3, which is not possible for a real number y. So this gives us no restrictions on our domain. However, we still need to look at the square root portion. And a square root causes us to ask the question, um, what values of x might cause this radicand to be negative? Because we can only have radicands that are positive or 0. Well, the way that we would approach that problem is to solve the inequality. 4 minus x squared is greater than or equal to 0. These would give, this would give us the values um, of x that would be in our domain. And so to solve this inequality, we would factor. Factoring into 2 minus x times 2 plus x. We then ask ourselves, as we always do with um, inequalities, where is this actually equal to 0? And you can either draw this in the xy coordinate system, or um, if just to kind of simplify the thinking process, we're going to just kind of forget that we're working in the xy coordinate system just for a minute. And we'll just talk about what values of x work for this expression? Well, if x is equal to negative 2 or 2, then this expression is equal to 0. Checking a value between negative 2 and 2, like the value 0, we see that we get 2 minus 0 times 2 plus 0 is 4, which is a positive. Similarly, checking values to the left of negative 2 and to the right of 2, we're going to get negative values. So let's go back now and answer the question or solve the inequality. 2 minus x times 2 plus x is greater than or equal to 0. Well, that's going to happen on the interval from negative 2 to 2. So let's then describe, we are restricted then in this case to x values being between, to x values being between negative 2 and 2. But there were no restrictions on the y. Now they didn't ask us to draw a graph of this. In this case, they just asked us to describe the domain of the function in words. So I could say that it'll be any ordered pair x, y, such that the x coordinate is between negative 2 and 2, inclusive, and the y coordinate is unrestricted.
Okay, let's try another one. So this one is the function f of x, y equals the natural log of y minus 2x. As in uh, one of our previous examples, we are considering a natural log function, and we know that the argument of the natural log must be greater than zero. So let's write that down. So y minus 2x has to be greater than zero. Or another way of looking at it is that the y-coordinate must be more than twice the x-coordinate. Now, if we had been asked to graph the domain, we would draw the line y equals 2x and shade in the side that satisfies this inequality. But we were not. We were just asked to describe in words. So the domain is the set of all ordered pairs x, y, such that The second coordinate is more than twice the first. And that would be one way of describing the domain of the function f of x, y equals natural log of y minus 2x. Continuing with number 24 on page 938, we're again going to describe the domain of the function in words. And in part C, we're given a new situation. We're given a three variable function, f of x, y, z equals x, y, z over x plus y plus z. Now, the basic approach is the same, but let's think about what types of, of objects are actually going to be in the domain of this function. Instead of being um, two coordinate objects or ordered pairs, we have ordered triples, which are points in the x, y, z coordinate system. So um, the scenario here is that we're going to have some set of x, y, z in the x, y, z coordinate system, some kind of shape, curve, and it could look like anything, but let's say that we have a three-dimensional kind of blob here. So here is this set of points x, y, z, and any point x, y, z in this set is going to be sent to a single real number value. So we're kind of mapping from 3 space into a range which is in 1 space. Maybe it's an interval, maybe it's a whole bunch of intervals, but here is our um, function uh, y, uh, our functions um, resulting value. This is our domain over here and this these points map to our range. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and try and figure out what is this blob in this case. So um, the same rules apply because the same operations are in effect. So when we have a fraction, we don't have any radicals or logs or uh, trig functions. The only concern is that we can't have a denominator equal to zero. 
So solution, first of all, we know x plus y plus z cannot equal zero, okay? Now, just like in two space, we go ahead and we think about what does x plus y plus z equals zero look like? What are these points that we're excluding? going to look like? Well, you might recognize this as the equation of a um, plane in three space. Recall that ax plus by plus cz plus d equals zero is the equation of a plane that has what characteristics? Well, it has to go through some point x, y, z, and it has to um, be normal to the vector a, b, c. So what we're talking about, the points that we're going to exclude are going to be points that go through some point that satisfies this equality and is normal to, and the plane is normal to, the vector 1, 1, 1, the coefficients of x, y, and z. Now, in this case, it's easy to see that the plane is going to go through the point 0, 0, 0, and it's going to be normal to the vector 1, 1, 1. Now, if we were to try to sketch this, which, by the way, we were not asked to do, um, we would have a plane that is going to cut through the origin at a 45-degree angle to the uh, xy plane, and, um, but it's enough to say in this case that we are, that the domain is going to be all points x, y, z that are not on the plane that goes through 0, 0, 0 and is normal to 1, 1, 1.